Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out your important general messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Virgo, my nose is stuffy so I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, it's my usual sinus issues, allergies, but anyway, please bear with me. I'm going to go slow on today's reading. All right, spirits and angels, please show me important, accurate messages for Virgo today. Show me more. Sun here is about first Virgo. I feel like you um people are jealous of you, okay? People are jealous of you. They're not happy to see you happy. They're not happy to see you being really successful. Queen of Wands here. I'm with the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and up first somebody could be trying to steal your idea or steal your uh like your style <laughs> that's what i'm getting your style or your beauty like copycat that's definitely what i'm getting here somebody's going to try and copy you okay so i feel like this person is jealous they're not happy to see that you're doing well or that you're getting a lot of attention we've got the five of pentacles here in my first and the will of fortune another thing that i'm getting here is like a lot of people um i don't know why I keep getting like people thinking that oh virgo is just lucky obviously virgo is not just lucky virgo is the most hardworking sign of all 12 signs and i'm also a virgo <laughs> but will of fortune also indicates virgo that um luck is on your side okay things are changing for a lot of you but change for the better especially when it comes to your finances with the five of pentacles here in reverse finance career definitely indicates a big change but change for the better you uh queen of wands to me is a quite a popular energy because she's the queen of fire right fire shine you you possibly are shining brightly okay uh, or <clears throat> somebody quite popular now or becoming for example you work for somebody you may be your boss's favorite <laughs> and for some of you um if you have your own business your business could be thriving or doing better and i feel like with a will of fortune here it's a big change okay big change in terms of your finances and career and for the better the world here is in reverse and also got the fool here in reverse this is the part where i feel like that you you may have a copycat somebody who tries to copy you copy your style or you know steal your ideas jealousy that's definitely what i'm getting here mm, another thing that i'm feeling is like they could be comparing themselves to you you may or may not know this this person okay but the world here in reverse also can indicate a stuck energy for some of you if this has something to do with love with the fool here in reverse that somebody still is keeping tabs on you trying to see if you've already moved on how are you doing this person was actually the fool with the fool here in reverse when it's in reverse i actually read read that as an actual fool so this person isn't the brightest they may have made some mistakes in the past they still can't move on from it okay and seven of swords yeah being really sneaky most likely just checking up on you spying on you we've also got the queen of cups here in my first the hermit and with eight of swords in my first Virgo Spirit is trying to say save the love, save some love for yourself, okay, Virgo, because the hermit is here. I don't know why I'm just getting with the Queen of Cups and Mavis can indicate uh, an overwhelming uh, feeling that you may have. And also, I feel like some of you could be underappreciated for all the love that you give to people, attention, guidance, because the hermit is you, right? You are actually the wisest wisest sign and as the hermit is the wisest energy in the entire deck right so it feels like sometimes virgo you're being underappreciated for what you do for other people you guide people you give advice to people <laughs> but um i'm laughing i keep looking at the seven of swords you've got this competitor or a bunch of competitors 
keep looking at you, keep checking up on you. You know, Virgo, I, I have a YouTube channel. I possibly have some people like checking up on how many subscribers I have, how many views I have. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing, but just an example. For some of you, it just feels like, you know, um, you may give somebody an advice and they, or some ideas and they take the, the ideas and ran with it perhaps not crediting you that's another thing that i'm getting here as well that's just for some of you eight of swords here is in my first spirit saying to cut it out stop thinking um that's analysis paralysis energy perhaps um overthinking is possibly not good for your soul and the hermit can also indicate loneliness okay for some of you virgo if you're lonely and if you're single i feel like there's nothing to uh, I feel like it's a phase, yeah, Virgo. It's a phase, and the Queen of Cups here in reverse, a bit um, an energy of somebody feeling like un being unloved, underappreciated. I keep getting this underappreciated energy here. Whether it's you feeling this way about somebody, they're not appreciating you for who you are, what you've given to them, any kinds of advice, support, love. But let's see more. We've got the sun in reverse and the six of swords. Yeah, again, I feel like Virgo, that's definitely somebody who doesn't like seeing you happy. And with the nine of wands, the death in reverse, I feel like this is somebody who could have hurt you in the past, okay? Death here is in reverse. This is somebody who perhaps you were in a relationship with. Uh, it does feel like it could be also an energy of somebody trying to sneak their way back into your life but you either may have your guards up in regards to this person or that they have their guards up in regards to you six of swords so again there is this movement here virgo some of you be crossing the water uh you be migrating or relocating or traveling um and also we've got the moon and the seven of wands here Virgo, some reason the moon, the moon I always read it as, you know, not everything, you know, people like to get their tarot, tarot read uh, to find out, to predict about the future and all, but Virgo, sometimes we don't have to know or we're not supposed to know everything about our future, we're supposed to just go along with it okay go along with it because you know there are lessons to be learned if we all know what's gonna happen next then what is there to learn right virgo but anyway six of swords it feels like the six of swords and the moon here indicates something about let's just go along with the ride you know the boat here it looks like a ride let's just go along with the ride don't overthink don't over don't worry too much okay the moon can indicate like somebody feeling very uncertain about the future so a lot of worries or it could be fear uh, insecurities can be any of these things and also we've got the seven of ones here in reverse spirit says sometimes to kind of just i don't know why i read it as a surrender energy although it should be the hangman but i don't know it just feels like it okay so i don't want to remember it's perhaps good indicate spirit saying it's okay to put your guards down it's okay to you know roll with the punches or just go with the flow that's definitely what i'm getting here perhaps overthinking again in a sword here in reverse and with the hermit here it's not a bad thing but um i feel like it just causes it causes more worries then you need to um <laughs> and this is going to make you really unhappy with the sun here in reverse again in Virgo, i feel like there could be some actions take somebody could be taking actions towards you or you taking actions towards somebody here okay will of fortune again it, it speaks of travel and the world in reverse can indicate also uh, a stuck energy here right somebody could be maybe virgo you guys could be feeling that you know i'm not sure if i want to take the risk i'm not sure if i want to travel because of whatever that's going on with the world right now but also again virgo this can also indicate somebody thinking about returning but they wonder if it's a good idea or not with the fool here in reverse and also we've got the tower in reverse some of you this could indicate you 
avoiding any sorts of disaster <laughs> tower and my breast yeah because it could indicate a delay in some sort of disaster I'm not saying that it's going to uh, happen but I feel like sometimes I do read the tower in reverse and the death in reverse like you know something that could have been disastrous but you escaped it okay or that you're gonna escape it and the magician here is in reverse six of cups and reverse pieces there's somebody from your past uh, this person may have lied or cheated on you best to leave the past in the past perhaps looking back or returning to this person or wanting this person to return to you may not be the best idea and also we've got the four of cups here virgo for me this may indicate somebody either feeling bored when it comes to love or just very picky when it comes to the options for those of you who are single maybe the options presented to you you just don't like it because it's just so picky as i am too i'm a virgo and i'm really really picky but overall virgo spirit seven is saying with the queen of wands here that to embrace this fire energy perhaps some of you you may have fire in your chart somewhere right be confident be courageous that everything is gonna be all right because we got the will of fortune here and don't worry about people either betraying you or gossiping or stealing something from you because the will of fortune is also a karmic will okay this whoever this person is or these people are it feels like they will receive their karma and the five pentacles in reverse it feels like it'd be karma uh bad karma to be receiving bad karma in terms of their finances or career like uh, they won't be doing too well. I don't know why I am just seeing that, okay? Like, they may not be doing well in their career or in their finances. That's their karma for either stealing from you or mistreating you here in the past. Made you really unhappy with the sun in reverse. Hmm. You've got a lot of jealousy. People are really jealous of you, Virgo. But it's okay. Just do your thing, okay? With the hermit here. Keep to yourself. Do your thing. Um, and stay humble. That's definitely what I'm getting here, okay, Virgo? I just saw 1212 two on your... Um, on my stopwatch here, Virgo, if you'd like to check out your angel number, 1212, one, you can go ahead and Google it. And Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated with it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This is the video from my second channel. For those of you who don't know, I do have a travel vlog channel. I hope to see you over there. If not, it's fine too, Virgo. I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. I do post your videos very often uh, and Virgo I'm also open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below all right take care Virgo bye